Hello and welcome back to uh, Desktop Calendar Mockup Help Video. This is Chapter 2, Editing the File in Adobe Photoshop. In this chapter we'll uh, edit the file and see how it works when you apply your own designs to it. Okay, so uh, my name is Maria, I'm a graphic designer and I'll be your guide throughout this tutorial. Now let's get started. First and foremost, let's open up Adobe Photoshop. Uh, once we have Photoshop open, we can open the mockup template by going to File Open using the keyboard shortcut, which is Control plus O. Or you can do what I usually do, just especially if you work in uh, Windows, simply drag your file directly into the work area and it will open up automatically. Once the file is open, you'll see uh, the mockup with the placeholder images. And here in the Layers panel, uh, if you don't see the Layers panel, if you just press F7 on your keyboard, it will open and close the Layers panel. Or you can go to Window and then select the Layers, make sure it's checked. You'll see several different folders or groups. Um, the Settings group, the Render group, and the Background. Uh, you can change your background, add your own background, for instance, some table with some office furniture in the background, um, or you can keep the default one if you need to just showcase it to your clients. We have the render group, which is basically the 3D render of this mockup file. You can use that if you want. Uh, we have the settings folder if you're not accustomed to working in uh, Photoshop, I recommend not touching uh, or playing with the settings folder, but sure, you can try. As long as you don't save uh, the file, if you have messed up something, you're going to be fine. And finally, we have this group with uh, mockups, where it says design goes here. So, let's start. Uh, there are six different mockups here, so you can basically have six, uh, three different designs or three different colors in this mockup. Let's open up the page mockup color number one. We double click on the smart object layer. It will open up here. We go to file, place, and let me place this black one. Now, if you um, have the print type of file or your file dimensions don't uh, align with the dimensions of the smart object, uh, you usually get this type of uh, placement where it's not going to be placed at 100%. Now there are two different ways to deal with it. Uh, I would leave it like this and then here we we'll just change the percentage at 100% and voila, we're done. Now you can save it as is or you can merge the backgrounds together. There are a couple of ways of doing that. The easiest one is using the uh, keyboard shortcut, Control E, and it will merge down all your layers. Now, if you don't want to mess with and play uh, with, uh, with and hide percentages, what you can do is open the preferences, go to General, or you can use Control Key, uh, con Control K on your uh, key, uh, keyboard as a shortcut. And here, amongst all these various um, options, you will have this option, Resize during uh, Image During Place. If you uncheck that, it will not resize objects while you're placing them. What that basically means is if we go to Place now, and let me choose the white background, it will automatically place the file at 100%. Uh, I am used to working with, I'm sorry, uh, I'm used to working with this resize image during place. It's easier to control the images and I would rather scale it up than scale it down. Once we have our design placed and, and we like how it looks, we can go to either uh, file save 
or just go to control uh, S on your keyboard and uh, make sure to go to uh, to save the file not go to save as we need to save smart objects close it and voila it's been changed here now let me change the third base up now we have the mockup for the base which is basically this part here and i'm going to choose this one so you can see uh, the difference again we go to <clears throat> double click now, once you open the base, you'll see there is another smart object here, which is basically the print layout. So if you have your entire uh, print layout all set up and ready to go, uh, double click on this smart object and basically just place your base here. I'm going to place it at 100%. We are going to merge it down. We can go to, uh, we can uh, select right click and then, where is it? Uh, merge down. You don't see it here. Let me just move the layers so you can see what I'm talking about. Right click on the layer, merge down, or if you remember, I said Control E on the keyboard and we'll do it automatically. We save the file. Now we'll have to do this twice. And voila, we have our base set up. Now, if you don't have a print layout, you can just play with this layout here. So let me just add some color. Let's make it something red so you can just see the difference. I'm just gonna, oops, just gonna add a layer above. I'm gonna keep this print layout because I might need it later on. Uh, <clears throat> foreground color. And let me add huh, some shape here. Let's put something like this so we can see it of course you can create your own designs here this is why I have a double smart object we go control s or save the file <clears throat> sorry and voila we have our changes saved here of course, you're going to do this for all the six mockups, uh, choosing whether you're going to add your own designs or create your own designs here in the mockup. Um, the page is optimized for 190 by 110 millimeters, and there's about 50 millimeter here for the base. Um, so that's it. Once you're done, you can save your file, edit the background, uh, place it in other files, etc. Um, that was it when it comes to chapter 2, editing the file in Adobe Photoshop. If you have any issues, questions, um, or you just want to contact me for no apparent reason, you're free to do so. Um, through my email and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, I hope this helped you a little bit in editing the file and the template. Have a good day and see you in the next one. Bye!